Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another episode. If you are new here, welcome. I'm also new here, so I'm assuming that you are new here. This is probably one of um, the first um, episodes that we are shooting. Um, and so a little bit about the channel, guys. This is a events and deco channel. I am an event planner and my name is Fiona. And on this channel, we are speaking all things deco. I'm taking you guys um, with when I go do my events. I'm doing deco tutorials. Um, and we are also just having general conversations on entrepreneurship. Now this brings me into today's video. So I had thought that um, probably it would be more appropriate to start with um, how I started my business because obviously this is about my the business side of things, right? Um, so I'm going to share how I started my business, um, how I started my business. I started my business without profit, by the way, but that will be a video that we'll do on another day. On this video, we are going to speak about how to build credibility without um, having started your business officially, right? What do I mean by this? So in the event industry, what generally happens 99% of the time um, when a client asks you for your services, they're probably going to ask you for pictures. Now you are a starting entrepreneur and you haven't started doing any work as yet because you are still trying to build a name for yourself, right? So I'm going to take you through the steps of how to start your business and also how to build credibility, how to get to have pictures, um, how to get to have a profile, right? But first, let's jump into how I started my um, business. Um, so you guys, I don't really know um, at which point did I actually know that I am interested in events, um, but I knew that there was a time where I felt like, oh, I actually love this and I actually enjoy this. And this is something that I would like to do just as a hobby, right? So how I started was that I would actually ask my friends. So when my friends were having um, baby showers and there were bridal, um, bridal showers um, in the family, I would ask to do them. So how I would do this is I'd say to a friend, no, um, you go and um, hire out the equipment. So this is what I need. Go out and hire it out. And then I will do the decor for you for free, right? Um, but guys, this is not even at a point when I was thinking about um, starting a business. This was just me doing it because I think I liked it. So I was just like, oh, okay, you're having a baby shower. It's okay, get tables, get chairs, get me under place, get me glasses, um, whatever it is that I needed, the resources, and then I would then do it um, for free. And then I absolutely enjoyed it, right? And at that time I was still working um, a nine to five, right? So then um, I started working at a company that was an NPO. And in that company, um, we didn't really have a lot of um, budget, right, in the marketing department. I was in the marketing department, um, there was not a lot of um, budget, and the most of the budget would be allocated to other things, and the least of it would go to events, right? It would go to deco for events. So then I sat down with my manager one day, and I was like, ah, oh, you know what, I think I actually can do this right so we had hired out i think about one or two people to do deco for us for a few events and then i sat down with her and i was like no i actually think that this is something that i can do right so what we can do so hypothetically speaking say we had like ten thousand rand so i had said to her um we have ten thousand rand so let's rather take eight thousand rand and let me go and buy certain things that can be reused, right? Um, so pieces that we can use over and over again um, for different events. And then the 2,000 Rand we will then use to hire out other things that will make the deco obviously um, a little bit different so that we don't have the same thing over and over again, right? And at this time, I think then I had kind of had an idea that oh now I actually really really enjoy this and maybe someday um, I will do it um, as um, I will do it as a business right and I remember a lot of the times when people would talk about purpose so if I was in church and they were preaching about purpose the first thing that would come to my mind was events guys 
right? So I knew at that time that this is actually something that I have to do, right? But at that time, there were challenges for me, I think mentally, because um, I had a few people in my life that wanted to go into the same industry. And that kind of got to me because it felt like I'm copying what they are doing or what they say they want to do because they hadn't really started doing it. They would just say that they're interested in events and those are people close to me. So I'd feel like, oh, if I start this business, then um, I'm competing with this person or I'm so shy to even say that I want to start this business because somebody else had already said it, right? Um, But then I left my nine to five and I actually started my business. But um, at the time that I had started, like the official starting, which is when I registered my company, um, I had already been doing events um, for people, right? But just not charging for it. I was just doing it for free. So by then I had done a couple of events. And if you guys go to my Instagram page and you go right till the end, those are the pictures that I started posting right to put myself out there so whenever there were whenever i would do the deco i would obviously take pictures but like i'm saying at, there was a point when i didn't know that i wanted this to be my business but obviously because i did the work then i would take the work and share it with friends so i'll take pictures and share it with friends um, so that's how i started that's how I started my business. When I started, I had no equipment and hopefully we are going to do a video on how to actually start your event business without any equipment at all, right? So there are certain things that I did in my journey when I was starting that I wouldn't rather advise that you start like that or you can start like that. I mean, it is a choice how you start, um, but there are steps that I would like to share with you guys, like a little bit of a process of what you can do um, when you want to start your event business, right? So um, you are a person who wants to start an event business. Um, I'm assuming that um, Maybe at this time you already know um, your area, the area that you're in, you already know who you want to target. So do you want to target high-end clients or do you just want to target like um, anyone who just comes and wants an event, right? Um, you've already done your research maybe about the event industry um, and you have seen a few pictures and work of people doing this that has sparked an interest in you. So how do you actually start, right? So the first thing I think, um, the first best thing to do for your business, I didn't do this when I was starting, but this is something that I highly recommend, right? I recommend that you register your business, guys. Register your business on CIPC. And the reason why I say register your business um, is because the start date for your business is the date that you officially registered your business right so if even if you register your business this year and you start next year it will be on record that you started um, in 2023 as opposed to you started in 2024 so what that does is that it gives you a little bit more credibility right so you can say oh i started my business a year ago as opposed to i started my business now even if you start operating in the next year register your business so that your start dates can be recorded sooner right um obviously when you register your business um this is now where you will get your registration certificates you will get your bee certificate um, you will get your tax clearance certificate and guys i think another challenge that comes with registering your business i just need to put it out there is that as long as your business is registered you are going to be charged on cipc right on the uh, website that you create your business where we register our businesses um, there is a fee that they will charge you annually right so um, some people might not register their businesses because they don't want to be paying when they haven't yet registered their, when they haven't yet started operating um, so you can choose but it is best to 
just register your business get all of your documents in place and guys it's so important to have your documents in place because whenever an opportunity arises you know that you are ready right so if somebody says oh um, my company needs somebody that's going to be doing um, events for us but we need to we need you to have your tax clearance we need you to have your registration certificate you need to submit these documents it's so amazing when you have your paperwork ready i would highly advise always have your paperwork ready you guys so you have decided that you're going to start you've registered your business um now in the event industry guys the event industry is very broad right it is very broad and there are niches that you can go into so you choose what you want to do and what would be more um, cost savvy for you right so you can choose that okay I want to go and I just want to do um, balloon garlands or I want to go into personalized balloons um, and you guys we're going to go into detail on the kind of businesses that you can start with minimum um, funds within the events industry right I'm going to do those videos for you guys um, but yeah, so you ha would have chosen which way you actually want to go. So for me, I didn't have to really choose because like I said, you guys, I was in corporate and I had chosen to do um, deco for the events that we were having. So I was doing things on a broader spectrum, right? So I did um, a brand launch during that time. I did a year-end function during that time. Um, I did uh, our annual general meeting at that time. So I had like a variety of different setups, right? So there's a corporate very professional one and there's like a table set up one and so at that time I had already figured that oh no man I can actually do all events so I don't really need to focus on something but what a lot of people do when they start is they start off with maybe a balloon garland and then as they go maybe they will start doing like smaller events little um, picnics for two then maybe they will go on to kiddies parties and then they'll go on to baby showers and then when they've gained enough confidence then they'll go into weddings right so another thing guys a side note so when I started my business um, when after I registered my business, the first event that I did was actually a wedding for 200 people. And I still think it was crazy because I hadn't done a event of that magnitude. But you know what? Sometimes you just have to have a little courage and just do it. Right. So at that time I had thought ah, I can do this and I jumped for it and I did it. But anyway, let's not digress. So yes, so you have now registered your business. You have all of your um all of your documents in place and um, you have already decided if you want to start and do all events or if you want to start with balloons and 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 so forth so you have decided what it is that you want to do now how do you then build a profile because like I said when we started guys this video I said 99% of the time if not a hundred percent of the time the client who is requesting your service will always 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 ask you for pictures right they want to see your work so that they can trust you right so this is now going into how to prepare your profile, how to build a profile for yourself, right? Without any equipment or when you are starting and you don't have um, a lot of capital, this is how you can start. So number one, you're going to start how I did it. In any business, guys, you bring your family closer, you bring your circle closer. The people that are close to you are the people that will be willing. They see the potential, so they are willing to try you out, right? They are willing to say, oh, okay, yeah, I mean, if you're going to do my baby shower for free, great. I'm just going to hire out the equipment and then you can do the work, right? So do baby showers for your family, um, birthdays for your friends, do kiddies parties, do whatever event that you can get your hands on and do it at no cost. And this guys is the best because you don't fork out a cent from this. All you do is you say, friend, 
I can do the deco for you. Um, let me just see a little bit of the vision that you have and then she'll probably show you a picture. Like, no, I can do this. Just get me tables, this many, these many chairs, get me under plates, get me glasses, um, whatever it is, and they get it for you and you just put things together. And then what do you do? You take pictures, right? You take pictures of those setups and you put them away, right? Number two, the second way to start um, is uh, for you to do mock setups. So um, guys, mock setups are setups that you do um, for the purpose of taking pictures, right? It's basically either a replica of something or it is an example of something, but you're basically just setting up for pictures, right? How do you do this? So with mock ads, this is where you're going to fork out a little bit of money right so you are obviously going to be somebody that knows where you can hire out so you're going to have to research where you can actually hire out um products right um so how, where you're going to hire out equipment sorry where you're going to hire out your equipment right and then you are going to hire out the equipment and you in your backyard or in your kitchen or in your lounge or whatever it is you are going to set up you are going to do your set up right and show people what you can do you're going to take pictures of that mock up you're going to store them away right so now when you do these mock ups guys probably i think um most of the business that you are going to get when you are starting is birthday parties people are always having birthday parties people are always having babies so baby showers and um, uh, people are always having um, either kiddies parties. So kiddies parties and birthday celebrations go hand in hand. So you will do a setup of a kiddies party. You'll do a setup of a formal setup, which may be a birthday. And then you'll do a, a setup of a baby shower, right? And then you're going to take pictures of these mock-ups that you have done and you're going to store them away, right? A tip that I have for you guys is when you do these mock-ups, right? Or when you do these events for your family and friends, the nice thing with family and friends is that they will probably, it's an event, so they will probably have a photographer there, right? So you are going to communicate with the photographer and you are going to ask your photographer for pictures, right? You're going to ask your photographer for pictures that they have taken on the day. Take down their numbers, guys. They are not that difficult, trust me. If you are just going to ask them for the pictures, they're going to send you the pictures. So that's where you're going to save money. If you are doing your own mock-ups, I would highly, highly, highly advise that you get somebody who is experienced in photography, um, if it's not a photographer, because sometimes photographers come at a price. Um, so you can just um, get somebody who is going to take pictures for you, who knows how to take pictures from different angles, um, whether they're using a camera or they are using a high quality phone, right? And then you have your content, right? Now you have your content. It doesn't help to have content and just store it away. The content that I said you put away, what do you do with it now? You bring it out. You create social media pages, right? You create your Instagram page, your Facebook page, your Twitter page, and guys, your WhatsApp statuses as well. They are so, so important, right? And that is where then you are going to come up with a posting plan right because you don't have a lot of pictures so you are going to have to plan when you are going to post what so that you maximize on the pictures that you have that you have taken right so what you're going to do you're going to open your pages you're going to post your work um, however but stretch it out so that it lasts you a couple of posts right and then another great thing that you can do is to promote your posts on social media the nice thing about that is that you can literally select where who your target audience is um, in which area do you want that post to appear the most so basically you choose um, when you promote your post where you want your post which which audience do you want your post to be directed at right 
So then you're going to post your pictures, guys. And after you posted your pictures, they are going to book you. Maybe not immediately, but with consistency, guys. With consistency, with everything, consistency is very, very important. The more that you post, the more that you put yourself out there, the more it is that people are going to book you. So you are going to post consistently and then you are going to be booked and make some money, right? And then, guys, as you get booked, I think another thing that a lot of people manipulate is that you have to or they forget about rather is that you have to refine your skill you have to be refining your skill there's a lot of places guys where you can learn how to do certain things how to upskill yourself so say for instance you are the person that decided okay I'm going to start my business with balloon garlands, right? And then as you go, you're like, okay, I think now I can go for smaller events. Go on YouTube, guys. There's people like us who are going to teach you how to do certain things. You can literally find anything on the internet, right? So you are going to go on platforms like YouTube and you are going to search videos so that you can refine your craft, you can improve yourself, and you can do better every time, right? Because the goal is always to do the best so the, the work that you're doing currently should be the best work that you have done ever. It can be on a smaller scale, but you put in your best foot forward and you do that event, you take pictures of that event and you post it so that people can see what the best event that you can do at that time right so yeah guys that's it from me um thank you so much for stopping by again thank you so much to the people that have subscribed you guys have no idea how much this means to me and thank you for making it this far in this video i really 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 hope that you are going to finally gain the courage to start that business guys just start i think on my first video i did mention that it a journey to the journey to mastery is exactly that it is a it's, it is a journey guys and you are going to refine your craft as you go you don't need to know everything now just start just start let's pursue those dreams guys thank you so much for being here i really 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 appreciate you please click the subscribe button tell your friends to tell your friends tell your family to come gather up here and let's learn a lot about business events, whatever industry you want to go into. Thank you so much for being here.